Good morning. I'm going to set up Airport Express. Um, and what you have to do first is actually connect to it. And this Airport Express, I, it called uh, my, I got Edwin L. Frost Network, okay. Uh, these are on the regular airport. Well, it's not available right now. So anyway, you have to connect to that and you have to connect with your password for to recognize it. And then you go to Applications utilities and airport utility double click yep and it will come up and it will discover the airport it sees this one okay and it's called an airport utility found an airport express and that's the name of it that's your id and all that you, you don't need to worry about that but click continue and it'll walk through and I'm not going to change anything, but I just say, I'm going to say I want to change some of the settings for this airport express. It's already set up and it's not responding to any problems, uh, not reporting any problems. You can restore its default settings or make changes to its current settings, okay? Okay, I'm going to click continue. Uh, some of these things I'm not going to change, but... Um, Airport Express is set up with a password, and that's so that to make any changes on this, you've got to know that password to make the changes, okay? Uh, you can change these settings if you want. Remember the password and the keychain. Okay, here I continue. Airport Express is set up to, to the following AirTunes settings. Um, I got it for enabling AirTunes, which doesn't matter. I'm not using that right now. Because there's several ways you can set up Airport Express, uh, and here's here they are right here. Uh, it's set up to create a wireless network, and that's what I'm talking trying to do. Uh, set up a wireless network that works with the Ethernet cable. So you can do that. You can tell it to join a network uh, and join and extend actually um, the network within your house or something like that. Uh, you can disable the wireless and connect to a computer or network using Ethernet, okay? Uh, not going to do that. Now here's this Airport Express set up for the following wireless settings using WPA uh, or WPA2. And I'm not going to change these, but I, I have a password in here to select this. Or I can change the settings if I wanted right here. Um, now, Airport Express is set up with the following internet uh, settings. Use this device's current settings or change. Okay, it's going to connect via an Ethernet and it's going to use dynamic uh, DHCP. That's getting these addresses here and it gets it dynamically. So, whatever, wherever you're connected, it will use whatever's there. And that's a good idea. If these get fixed, you'll have trouble. It won't work every place. Okay? I had that before. And then you end up, uh, it'll tell you, here's the name of it. That's what people will see when they see it in the airport, uh, over the air with a Wi-Fi. Uh, create a wireless network. Here's the name of a uh, uh, wireless name. Uh, oh, <laughs> I just showed you the password to it. Anyway, if you key, hold your key over that, you'll see the password. I didn't know that before. Connect using Ethernet. Uh, and there's a couple of different protocols here. This one handles up to uh, uh, IPv4. Uh, I forgot what that stands for. Anyway, and this IP address is provided automatically, okay? Now I can tell it to click and finish and it'll go through all that. And I don't think there's any changes it's going to do. So uh, so it has not been changed. So we're all quit, all set. So that's how you set up uh, Airport Express to carry along with you in motels or wherever you're traveling as long as they have Ethernet connections. Okay. And it gives you your own private little network um, and secure it. Okay.